We've all heard of the tragic story of the Titan submarine that was exploring the wreck of the Titanic on a planned dive on June 18th, 2023. In this video, we're not going to look at the disaster itself, but are going to focus on the report that the sub was being steered using a $40 games controller. We're going to have a look at whether this was true and why a game controller would be used. Please do subscribe if you haven't already, it really helps this small channel grow. So the short answer is yes, the submarine named Titan was being steered using a $40 games controller seen here. The controller in question is the Logitech GF710 wireless gamepad. This is the CEO of OceanGate, the company behind the sub, holding the controller. We can see the thumbsticks slightly modified to ensure precise control. Apart from that, there is no difference to one you can buy yourself for $40. So why did they use this game controller to steer the submarine? The answer is actually fairly simple, cost and ease of use. OceanGate could have spent millions developing a proprietary system that needs thousands of hours to fully master. Alternatively, game controllers are extremely cheap, easy to use, and almost everyone has experience using one at some point in their lives. This saves on costs, doesn't require a massive amount of pilot training, and means if a pilot is unable to continue to steer the sub, someone else can likely take over pushing the analogue stick in the direction they want to go in, just like a simple video game. It's worth mentioning that the sensors and other crucial equipment are managed by the onboard computers, but for steering it's just easier to use the analogue sticks on a simple video game controller. It's important to mention they did have backup controllers on board the Titan, but for an unknown reason they chose to use Bluetooth rather than a cable connection to connect the controller to the submarine. If you've ever had Bluetooth headphones or speakers randomly disconnect, you'll know it's not always a reliable technology. It remains unclear why OceanGate chose to use the controller wirelessly rather than wired. If using a game controller to steer or operate critical equipment just because it's easier still sounds ridiculous to you, it's not as uncommon as you might think. In the US, Xbox controllers are often used to control certain equipment on submarines. The USS Colorado, costing around $2.7 billion, uses an Xbox controller to maneuver its photonic masts. These are the things which replaced more traditional periscopes. The US Navy commented that using commercial off-the-shelf technology saves money, and young sailors report to the submarine knowing how to use it. Would you ever get on a submarine controlled by a games controller? Please do subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.